Thank you, Tyler. Today's weather is brought to you by Fire Farms. Fire Farms is Belfast's number one dispensary, offering a great selection of pipes, water pipes, CBD products, and much more. And most of the country not looking too bad. Look at Dallas, though. A little bit of rain. That green is rain. Get ready, though. Right in time for Christmas Eve and Christmas. This little storm right here in the west coast doesn't look like much now, but that's going to collide with the storm right up north. It pretty much just north of Portland, right by Seattle. That's going to make its way across the country right about here, colliding and then middle of the country getting a lot of rain, even some snow on the back end for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It is going to be a big, big storm, almost like what we had a few days ago, but that is going to happen in the center part of the country. For our area though things are calm mostly sunny throughout the day today it was a bit colder but of course no rain and no snow we're not going to get any rain anytime soon right through christmas eve and then christmas day we are looking pretty good the model is showing maybe a couple of sprinkles for christmas day but it does look like we're going to stay mainly cloudy with temperatures hovering in those lower 40s so it does look like we're going to stay mainly dry for christmas eve of course and christmas day look at these winds though it is very windy outside 16 mile per hour sustained winds in town 17 in greenville waterville's at 14 miles per hour augusta's at 20 right now by the coast though i know bar harbor isn't showing what the winds are but they are really really gusty out there uh, wind gusts by bar harbor close to 25 to even 35 miles per hour especially if you are right on the coast and some flood advisories are still in effect right now just north of Greenville, Millnocket, and then same story, just west of town. We are looking at flood advisories still posted and some gale warnings for the coast are still in effect till those morning hours tomorrow. We'll see, maybe they might get extended once again. Temperatures though have been warming up. The center part of the country, warm air making its way up north, even Wisconsin getting in on some 30s and 40s. New York City, though, they were in those lower 40s, still hovering close to 40 degrees. DC back in those mid 40s and then 60s back in Texas and, of course, into Florida. Our average high is around 33. We're not going to get 50s or 60s, but take a look at this. Right in time for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, 40s making a return, then even some mid-40s making a big, big comeback by middle of next week. So it will get warm once again with above average temperatures. Not tonight, though, not at all. Check this out. Single digits, 8 degrees as a low. It's going to get cold. Mostly clear skies, though. It's going to be very, very windy as well. That northwest wind will be gusting up to even 35 miles per hour. So, of course, that feels like temperature will be well below zero. Please bundle up out there. For tomorrow, a chilly day. 27 degrees, mostly sunny skies, but that wind will make it feel much colder. Our extended forecast outlook does show mid-30s for Saturday, then 40s making a return right in time for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Beth and Peter.